but this is how I do it. First thing I start audio mid setup. Show the audio window. And it shows you all of your audio devices. So then I click plus to create an aggregate device. And then I add all of the devices that I want to use, like so. You can set drift compensation if you want to. I'm not sure it makes any difference. Okay, so I now have my device with four inputs and four outputs, so I rename it to something descriptive. Next thing I do is I start DSP radio. As you can see, I have quite a few different versions hanging around. Make sure I get the right one. And then it starts and it doesn't currently have any devices. So I go to audio devices. And it's already selected my uh, aggregate device for me. Make sure that those are checked for both input and output. And then go to the configuration window. Check that it's showing the uh, FASY1, which is the um, USB soft drop thing, and hit Add Configuration. So the order in the, of the devices in the aggregate device is as they are listed in audio MIDI setup. So I want to use uh, inputs 2 and 3 because those are the uh, inputs on my USB device. Uh, output 0 and 1 are the built-in output on my Mac. I turn on AGC, and only once I've got those devices set do I hit active. If it's active when you change the devices, it tends to crash, so don't do that. And now I need to tune to a frequency where my radio actually works. Let's go for about 10 megahertz. It's running very slowly because I'm recording the screen. Normally it's faster and more fluid than this. You can see on the left hand side of the window here where there are the two little um, meter bars, those show the scaled input after the AGC has worked. And uh, one thing I find is that the uh, spectrum display tends to be a bit too gamey, so I reduce that so that I can see the signals better. And there on the left hand side you can see the WWD um, time signal. Oh, they don't seem to have recorded audio on this. But trust me, it's, it's WWD. And you can tune the receive band by dragging on the window. Or you can do it more accurately 
by uh, scrolling over the frequency display. The blue bar in the middle shows you the center of your um, um, 